Virgo. Hi Virgo, how are you? I'm Ashley, of course. Back to do another reading for you, Virgo. Thank you for all your likes, shares, and subscribes. You can also follow me on Instagram at she's, S-H-E-S, underscore, A-S-H, underscore, R-I-C-H, okay? I thank you for rocking with a girl like me, Virgo. I hope you're having a good weekend. I hope it's filled with nothing but good things. Let's just see what the energy is surrounding you, Virgo. Thank you for all your support. I most certainly appreciate you. Okay, so Virgo, maybe you find yourself tired, okay? Maybe you're needing some rest. You have Leo energy around you. Not, cool. Not sure, I'm sorry, if the color yellow, the color white, green, blue may be significant to you, okay? Uh, the number eight may be significant as well. Be careful not to hit your elbow, Virgo, okay? Be careful not to hurt your arm. Okay, but again, like I said, Virgo, with this strength card, it definitely indicates that there is something here where it kind of feels like you are either having to make some type of decision. And with the decision that you are making, you're choosing to move forward almost as if you don't have the energy to deal with something. Almost as if you don't have the energy to go in this direction. So you're choosing to move forward, okay? Again, with this strength card, it just kind of feels like there's something that happens that makes you want to keep your distance. There's something that happens that makes you want to be left alone or causes you to feel a little tired. I'm not sure if you're needing more sleep, Virgo. I don't know. It feels like something was an option one at one point once upon a time but it feels like this is not an option anymore or now you're able to move forward or now your energy is no longer disrupted it kind of seems that there's this situation here where i don't know if someone says something virgo they do something but just based off their energy or based off their actions it almost feels like now you know what to do or now you know exactly how to move forward with that seven of cups like i said you could have felt like maybe you didn't know if you should if you shouldn't maybe Maybe if something should have been a priority or if you should move in that direction. Like I said, there could have been a lot of confusion. Yes, there could have been a lot of uncertainty surrounding a situation and maybe that was causing you to feel tired. Maybe that was causing you to feel overwhelmed or as if you wanted to give up or as if you were feeling defeated. But Virgo, like I said, now something has become crystal clear. So in a way, Spirit is asking you to not give up, Virgo, or to continue to move forward because now it seems that you kind of have uh, at least a direction that you're able to go in. Now you seem to have a clear path or you will very soon okay as to exactly what to do as to exactly what to cut out what's for you so again like i said and just being able to move forward virgo you 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 are able to again like i said not only take back your power but for some reason or something happens where you have a clear direction like i said someone could have made a certain move someone could have made a certain decision and maybe you made up in your mind what you were going to do others of you you could have just felt that whatever this is was draining to you whatever this is was just overbearing and so maybe you're choosing to cut that out or maybe you're choosing to go down a different path like i said virgo you are in this energy baby of again which feels like just taking back your power because whatever this is, try to keep you feeling tired or try to trigger you or try to keep you emotionally disturbed or, you know, to just disrupt your feathers. But maybe they can't disrupt your feathers anymore, first of all, because you're a Virgo, number one. Number two, because Virgo, you have all of the power in this situation. You are a social butterfly during this time. Uh, you seem to embody Libra energy for some reason. Maybe people seem to think that you are a Libra upon meeting you okay but again like i said there is this balance this confidence this youthfulness maybe you're getting carded virgo uh, maybe people think that you're a lot younger than what you are okay giving you compliments you know just telling you that you know you look good or maybe you feel good virgo but like i said there is just this this like serene energy surrounds you very beautiful so it's like you go from feeling triggered you go from feeling down and out to kind of take 
taking back your power, going in a completely different direction, Virgo. And whatever this is that you're manifesting or moving towards is going to bring a lot of good things towards you. Yes, but it's like more so about you right now, what you want, what works for you. And it's like the ball is in your court, Virgo. It can go whatever way you want. It's a really good, really good energy surround you, surrounding you. I'm sorry. Again, but like I said, it can go whatever way you want, whatever way you desire. Because again, this seems to be a really good thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe at one point you were in this repetitive cycle, this doing things over and over and over again. But it kind of looks like you're stepping out of that or you're changing that. And although maybe that method is good, it's like now you have a new approach or now there's something else that happens. So you go from being the Knight of Pentacles or leaving the Knight of Pentacles right where it is to the Queen of Wands. Maybe Virgo, you are around someone who is in this Knight of Pentacles energy who, you know, no, it's cool but the night moves slow uh can be a hard or can take some time before the night truly changes up or or switches their ways so maybe you were dealing with someone who maybe took forever to change or kind of did what they wanted to do you know what i mean and again virgo you know it's okay for people to do what they want to do because then guess what you just do what you want to do no love loss you know what I mean? We can't be mad at people for making decisions or doing what they feel is best for them. That just means that you know how to move accordingly and you do what's best for you. Okay? So, again, like I said, that Knight of Pentacles, yeah, is someone, you know, they do work very hard, Virgo. Maybe they, you know, do put a lot into their job, into their career. But when it comes to their relationships, maybe they're still in that Knight energy. And maybe because you're already in this Queen or King energy, you know, it just makes you feel like there's more that you want. So, you're going from, like like less than to receiving more yes you're going from that night you know maybe something or someone that isn't giving you enough or just not fulfilling you not you know just inspiring you or helping you to move forward to kind of manifesting yourself and and creating that on your own yes yeah, so the knight of pentacles virgo someone was just a little too slow for you whether you realize this or not maybe you I, I i don't know if maybe at one point something looked a certain way but now it just appears to be a lot different like i said all of a sudden it just feels like you're able to see clearly for some of you it's it's to the point where maybe because you're moving on or because you're in a different vibration you almost feel disgusted you know it's like I, and maybe that's why the strength card is there because you're like, I really don't want to be bothered. Like, I really wish you would leave me alone. Like, maybe you really mean it. You know, maybe you're not joking. You're like, I'm not playing. Like, I'm not interested. So, well, you know, you're like, I'm not in that vibration. Maybe when you cut certain things off, Virgo, you just cut them off and it's no coming back. You're like, once I leave this space or exit this space, I'm done with that. It's no longer a priority. It's no longer on my list. I don't know, like I said, who this is that was taking their time, but I don't know, Virgo. It just looks like they, they can't catch up. That's what I cannot make it up. Page of Cups, yeah, they can't catch up. So I don't know if this is someone who tries to get like a child involved or with this Page of Cups, someone doesn't show enough emotions or feelings or they just, like I say, want to do things their way. But it really, like, I'm not, I'm not going to say it doesn't get them anywhere, but it could prolong things, could, you know, make them have to go through unnecessary things unnecessary experiences where maybe it could be sped up but because they're so stubborn or stuck in their ways again maybe they just continuously go through the same thing virgo okay but it just kind of looks like yeah something was just a little too slow yeah they they had to catch up to you at this point because and it almost feels like with the page of cups it's just something they can't do they can't catch up to you they're not on your level they can't mess with you virgo seriously i cannot make it up Yep, because at this point, I don't know what changed, Virgo. It's like all of a sudden, boom. All of a sudden, boom. Yes, the strength card just indicates you go from feeling defeated. You go from feeling like, God, I don't know what to do. So all of a sudden, moving forward, taking care of everything, getting everything handled, managing it all. Um, And, and it's not even managing it all, but it's actually like knowing where to put your energy, knowing where to put your time and knowing where you can get the most success from it. So it kind of seems like now, like I said, something that was not clear is just so crystal clear. You had this major breakthrough. 
this major awakening, this major epiphany, Virgo, it really kind of feels like it's life changing, to be honest with you. The Ace of Swords, it's like all of a sudden everything is just like boom. And you're feeling inspired. You're feeling different. It's like all of a sudden you have the answers or you know what to do or you know how to move forward. What's going to work for you? Mm -hmm. Really good energy, Virgo. Yeah, it's like you're just changing the entire narrative. You're changing the entire story. You're writing it for the better. Yes, it just looks like you go from feeling, you know, like, you know, am I right for feeling this way? Am I wrong? Like, you know, kind of questioning and second guessing yourself to being like, who even cares? You know what I mean? To being like, I know what I want. I'm moving towards it. Yes, it's no more back and forth. No more up and down. No more feeling alone. No more feeling by yourself, Virgo. You have a lot of good things. What's coming towards, Virgo? Because, Virgo, you have good things coming towards you, yes. Now, there may be some decisions that you have to make. And Spirit says, make them, baby. Don't allow it to stress you. Do what you have to do and keep it pushing. The King of Pentacles money is coming towards you, Virgo. You have coins coming your way. Okay, I know that's right, Virgo. Coins are coming towards you. This King of Pentacles energy, money, stability. There could be some type of goal that you've set for yourself and you're able to reach it. You could be doing a lot of shopping at this time or taking care of the home, trying to create more stability, okay? But I do see you making some big purchases, okay? Maybe three, $400 purchases, okay? But again, like I said, you're handling your business. You're doing what needs to be done. What's coming towards you, Virgo, happiness. What's coming towards you, Virgo, fulfillment, balance, yes. It's like this coming together energy. You are creating an end or you've already created it. This tower moment indicates that something is over. It's no longer disrupting your vibration. You made a decision. And maybe this is an unexpected decision. You weren't like, like you didn't have this plan. You just didn't know that you were going to do this. But you're doing it. The tower, the tower definitely indicates something's happening. Mm -hmm, but, but it's you. Yeah, you're making some type of decision or you have your mind made up about something. And Virgo, it just kind of feels like at this point you're moving forward. What's the tower? And then I'll be done. What's the tower? Virgo, something happened. You said, oh no. You said, I am not doing this. So the tower, there's someone that you decided to not hang with. There's someone that you're deciding to not talk to, to not speak to, to not be friends with. Wow, what happened? Someone's calling you, I guess, and you're not answering. Something unexpectedly happened, but you're not talking. You're not answering. What's happening? The tower. You're causing this to come to an end because you set some type of boundaries. I don't know what they did, Virgo. Whatever they did, you spoke up about it. Whatever they did, you said something. So someone's doing something or you're setting some boundaries. Someone said something, they're coming towards you, but you're stopping them from coming towards you because you don't want it to affect your stability. You don't want it to affect you being able to move forward. So with whomever this is, I don't know. It's like they disrupt your vibrations. They make you feel guarded. Uh, they make you feel like you can't trust them. But at this point, Virgo, it looks like there is no friendship. There is no nothing else. It looks like you've decided to cut all ties. That's what it looks like. Yes, the Queen of Swords. Yes, you're protecting your energy, setting boundaries. You mean business, Virgo. Seriously, you mean exactly what you say. You're not playing. You're not wasting any time. I don't know who said what to you, Virgo, but they're about to get cut off. Mm -hmm. You're moving forward. The Nine of Pentacles. What can Virgo expect in love? Virgo, you're cutting someone off. The Queen of Swords, uh-oh. They made you put a wall up. They made you say, I don't want to do this. They made you say, you know, made you feel the way. So you're like, mm-mm. What's coming to Virgo in love? But hold on. What did they do to you, Virgo? What did they do to Virgo? I know you felt like they was going to mess up your energy, but uh-oh, you don't trust them. They lied to you, Virgo? Or you just feel like something's not right. Something just doesn't feel right about it. Your energy just feels off with it. It just doesn't feel right. And so because it doesn't feel right, maybe you feel like someone is like like literally telling you a lie or literally making up shit. You can just feel it. And so you're just deciding to cut them off. You're like, mm -mm, I don't want no parts. I don't want to be bothered. What can Virgo expect in love? Yeah, Virgo, you're like, mm-mm. 
Okay, so there seems to be someone around you, Virgo, who you have different values from. Like, you guys may just see things totally different. You may have one belief. They may have another. There could be some type of separation, distance. There's this energy of you not being satisfied. You have uh, the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So there could have been a situation that you're healing from. You're coming out of your comfort zone. You're going to be meeting someone new, the King of Wands. Yes, you're meeting someone new. You're moving forward. So now you're manifesting love. And here it comes. Yep, you're manifesting love and it's coming towards you if that's what you're wanting. If you're already in a relationship, it does look like you try to come together with this person. I don't know, maybe you are speaking. You try to be the bigger person is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Try to come out of hermit mode is what you do. Try to be the bigger person to move forward with them. Mm -hmm. That's only if you're in a relationship. It looks like that's what you're doing. But if you're single, it looks like you will manifest your new love. And you are going to find it, Virgo. You have the world. So yes, you're manifesting love. You're manifesting love and protecting your energy. Yep. That's what you're manifesting, baby. I know that's right. You have the world moving forward. Things are going to be a lot different, Virgo. You're going to be traveling. Also, see that you're about to be ordering a lot of things. You're going to be very busy. Uh huh. Out and about receiving packages and, um, again, just traveling. You have a lot coming towards you, accomplishing your, your dreams, your goals. But you definitely have love here. Yeah, somebody's about to move towards you. I know that's right, Virgo. So get out the house. Okay? And with that being said, I thank you for rocking with a girl like me. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Be sure to like and subscribe. And God bless.